Welcome back to the Detroit Lions franchise. It is week two. Uh, we take on the Washington Commanders, who, just like our Lions, got absolutely throttled in week one by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence had a day, 350 yards, four touchdown passes. They couldn't stop him. Although Curtis Samuel did have a day for them, 150 yards and a tutty. Terry McLaurin had 80 yards receiving. We're definitely going to have to focus on stopping this deep field passing attack from the Washington Commanders. We know Carson Wentz, he loves his deep ball. That's definitely going to be our priority going into week two. Defensively, they'll be without Chase Young. Also, Curtis Samuel isn't playing offensively. So is uh, their left tackle, Charles Lino. Mon Montez Sweat, who recorded a sack in week one, will not be playing either. So a lot of big injuries for the Washington Commanders. And injuries on the defensive line and at receiver that we need to take advantage of. Panay Sewell is back in the lineup, and that is a great sign for the Lions as, based off of week one, we need all the help we can get. Going to our game plans now, like I said earlier, we're going to have to attack uh, Carson Wentz and, and keep his deep ball ability at a minimum in this game. We cannot have him throwing all over the field, completing big shots to Terry McLaurin, uh, Jahan Dotson, the rookie receiver. And offensively, we need to run the football. That was very prevalent in the first game. DeAndre Swift barely got any carries. This week, we need to give him the ball. Jamal Williams is a very good number two. We have to give him the ball as well. Run the football. Set up the play action for Jared Goff. But let's get into some football now. Week two, we're still at home. Welcome in the commanders to Ford Field. Jared Goff knows he needs to put up a better performance. And Carson Wentz knows the same thing, actually, because the Washington commanders... You know, he, he did not have a good game either. Now, of course, the one striking difference is the interception totals from Jared Goff. But both these quarterbacks did not have a good first week. The kickoff is underway, and here we go in Ford Field. The Lions start off with the football. It's Khalif Raymond running up the side, the left side, and he's down at the 26. A decent return. The offense comes out on the field, and boy... Is this a big game for Jared Goff? How does he respond after six interceptions a week ago? It's a big question mark. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see what this offense has in store for us. Based off of week one, uh, I'm kind of holding my breath a little bit. Hand off to DeAndre Swift right up the gut, and he's going to go for about eight yards as a third down and two. A good run there for DeAndre Swift. And that is a welcome sight. We need to see a lot more of that if the Lions hope to win this football game, that's for sure. Third down and two at the 34-yard line. Jared Goff under center. Calling some audibles. I think he sees something he likes here. Five seconds on the play cop. They call it off. Monroe St. Brown breaks a tackle and there he goes up the left sideline. Amon Ross St. Brown, we got to get him the ball more too. Second second year wide receiver, former fourth round pick. He's a stud, man. Now at midfield, it's first down and 10. TJ Hawkinson in motion. And it's DeAndre Swift again. Cuts inside, breaks a tackle, and Swift gets a first down. To the 36 of the Washington Commanders in Commanders territory. We, we were not in <laughs> Eagles territory that much. Week one, that's for sure. It's already a better start than last week. It's first and 10 now, full back in. They're letting the play clock run down too. Jerry Goff must see something he likes here. They'll go play fake here and Goff's got time and threads the needle to DJ Chark. That looked a little dangerous, but it's complete nonetheless. And Chark, he was the best player on the field for us last week. 89 yards on four catches. We got to get him the ball more, too. Second down and four. Now hand up to Jamal Williams. Wide open lane up the middle. And it's another first down run for the Lions. This is a great start. Inside the commander's red zone. Seven minutes left in the first quarter. It's first down and ten. It's another handoff. DeAndre Swift. And Swift is going to run for another first down. We focused on the run game this past week, and it's paying dividends for sure. It's first down and goal at the eight-yard line. Jared Goff's going to fake a handoff. And he's going to roll to his right, 
and Goff is going to get sacked. A promising drive potentially halted by this sack is Kyler Fackel. We don't like to see that. Now second down and goal at the 14. Goff's going to going to pass it's a screen to DeAndre Swift and there's nothing there. These linemen didn't even try to block. Can we see the re can we see a replay of this? Look at these linemen. Oh my goodness. Lions to open this season were thought of to have one of the best offensive lines in the league. It has not looked that way throughout the first four and a half quarters of the season. It's third down and goal now at the 16 yard line. Lions since moving in the, uh, the red zone territory have just moved backwards. It's not what you like to see. Goff steps up to throw and he's hit from behind. And the football falls incomplete. It's fourth down and goal. So what was a promising drive, look to get seven points. Is going to end in a field goal try. As we take a look at this again, it looks like Amonra St. Brown was wide open on the left side of the end zone. Uh, and Goff, it looked like Goff was heading that way, but didn't have enough time to find it. 3 nothing is your score. And now Antonio Gibson leads the Commanders to a first down carry. And a nice start for the Washington Commanders, who look to get their first win on the season as well. Both these teams 0-1. First and 10 at the 37 for the Commanders. Carson Wentz, his first drop back of the day. He's going to pass short underneath. And won't get much here. Maybe one, two yards. Not that much. Second down and eight. Less than 340 on the clock in the first quarter. It's Antonio Gibson who's got a nice lane. Good blocks on the right side. And it's another first down carry for Antonio Gibson. Focusing so much on the deep pass. Doesn't look to be paying dividends too much. And now Carson Wentz wants to throw it deep. It's Terry McLaurin all alone in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Just as we were talking about the deep ball. Potentially preventing us from stopping the run. Now, <laughs> we can't stop Terry McLaurin deep. We practiced this the entire week and they still get it done. Terry McLaurin beats Amani Oruarie handedly. And they score in the blink of an eye. We got to take a look at this again. Because McLaurin, I mean, Amani's paying attention too much to Carson Wentz here, it looks like. You know, covering the zone. He's not paying attention enough to Terry McLaurin. And McLaurin just runs right by him. I guess he thought he had some help, some safety help. But... I don't know what it was. Either way, Washington scores quick. It's 7-3. Lions back on the field. Jared Goff's going to pass to TJ Hawkinson. And Hawkinson breaks a tackle. And he'll get a first down. Lions got punched in the mouth. Let's see how they respond here. It's DeAndre Swift, and he's stuck down. No gain on this one. Let's take a look at this again. There's the left guard, number 73. Just absolutely never stood a chance just oh that's that's not what you like to see this offensive line has struggled mightily so far now they're sending an all-out blitz but golf reads it and finds him on our st brown wide open through the middle past midfield it's a first down into washington territory already two grabs from monroe in this first quarter we like to see that hopefully he catches a lot more in this game it's a first down and ten a minute left in this first quarter. It's a handoff to DeAndre Swift. He cuts inside. And a solid gain. A pickup of about five yards. Two seconds left in the first quarter. It's a third down and five. Jared Goff. It's a five wide set here. And Goff is going to pass short underneath. Behind the sticks to Josh Reynolds. It's fourth down and one. And that will be the end of the first quarter. 7-3 is your score. Washington up. Thanks to that big touchdown to Terry McLaurin. Dan Campbell's going to go for this one here. It's fourth down and one. They're going to hand off to Jamal Williams, and he's got a lane up the gut and just gets enough. It's a first down conversion. A gutsy call by Dan Campbell, but he trusts his guys. Even despite a, a terrible performance in week one, he's going to trust these guys. Moving on to second down and eight now. It's TJ Hawkinson wide open through the middle. He'll pick up another first down. And once again, back-to-back -back drives. The Lions find themselves in the red zone of the Washington Commanders. This time, can they punch it in for six? We don't want to see them haul, uh, 
settle for field goals again. It's a handoff to DeAndre Swift, and Swift fumbles the ball! And it's picked up by Washington. Are you kidding me? Another promising drive ends in turmoil for the Detroit Lions. DeAndre Swift was having a great start to this game and just fumbles the ball. Washington's offense coming back on the field. As it, it is confirmed a fumble. Let's take a second look at this, though. DeAndre Swift, a wide open lane to his left side. And 31 comes in and hits him hard, and that's what makes him fumble. He's halted by 20, and 31 lays the wood. And if you take a closer look at it, the ball is out before his knee touches. Just before his knee touches. That's brutal. Moving out now, though, it's third down and nine to the Washington Commanders. They might. Blitz is sent, picked up, and dropped by Jahan Dodson. That hit him right in the hands. And unfortunately for Washington, they can't take advantage of the turnover. Let's take another look at this. The Blitz is sent, picked up perfectly. And Dotson, running through the middle, just hits his hands. A beautiful throw by Wentz. He just doesn't catch it. At midfield now, it's Lions ball. It's second down and 10. Jared Goff going to pass and way behind Amon Ross St. Brown. But there's a flag anyway. We're lucky that's not intercepted. It's a holding call on Penay Sewell. And that'll push us back to second and 20. Lions already are not great. And now you put them behind the eight ball. But this is a nice throw and catch here. That's DJ Chark, I think, on the graph. Oh no, Amara St. Brown, excuse me. Nice pickup, and it's a third down and nine. Still a third and long, though, but much more manageable. Let's see what they call here. It's third down and nine. Goff. Audibling here. Five seconds on the play clock. They, hand, they hike it off. Goff will pass underneath to DeAndre Swift, and Swift can't make a guy miss. I don't like that decision by Jared Goff. It's a quick three and out by the Detroit Lions. Washington back on the field now. Three minutes remaining in the second quarter. Wide open on the side is Jahan Dotson. He'll make this catch. And they'll get a pass midfield to the 49 of the Detroit Lions. It's a first down. Moving on now to second down and six at the 47. Carson Wentz going to throw it quickly to Terry McLaurin. He saw the man coverage and just wanted to get it off quickly to McLaurin and see if he could make a play. That's a good tackle there by Mike Hughes. But it's still a first down nonetheless. Two minute warning now. Washington trying to score some points and this pass is knocked down, almost intercepted. Oh, that could have been a huge momentum turn for the Lions. Either way though, it's third down and seven for Washington and Carson Wentz throws short of the sticks. And this will be a fourth down. Lions called timeout, expecting a field goal. Instead of the field goal unit, they're going to keep the offense on the field on fourth and three. And they're going to go for it. And Wentz finds a man. It's McLaurin on the left side. Open. It's a first down. Caught the Lions off guard. And they're going to keep the drive going. The Lions coach is exactly how I feel right now. First and 10 at the 19. With about a minute 20 left in the half. Wentz is going to... Step up and find, uh, I think that's Cam Sims over the middle. Pick up a five yards. There are no rush. They'll have all three timeouts. Still over a minute left. They have plenty of time. Second down and five now. Wentz is going to throw it again. And he's going to find Cam Sims again. And Sims jukes out a man. And Sims is in the end zone. Touchdown, Commanders. It's Cam Sims. Second touchdown of the day for Carson Wentz. What a start for the Commanders. And with 53 seconds left, the Detroit Lions are going to try and get some points on the board here. They do still have two timeouts. This is not going to be great, though. A short pass from Goff to TJ Hawkinson over the middle. Just a seven-yard game. Second and three now. Goff's got some time. He's going to throw up and just pitch it forward pretty much to Josh Reynolds. And again, another short pass. That's not going to get them where they want. And where they want to be is to score some points. It's first down and 10 now. Goff is going to pass short again. This is Josh Reynolds. 
with 34 seconds left. They don't have any timeout, so the clock is going to continue to roll. 15 seconds now. It's second and inches about midfield. They got to get this pass out of bounds. Goff is going to pass short, and that's knocked away. It does stop the clock. It's third and inches now. Though nine seconds left, they got to get this pass out of bounds. Jared Goff's going to step up in the pocket. He's going to throw deep. He's got DJ Chark up the left side. And Chark one on one. And DJ Chark makes the call. DJ Chark, what a catch. And he almost sticks the landing. Wow. Can we see that again? What a throw from Goff stepping up in the pocket and just letting it fly. One on one, DJ Chark over the corner and drags his left foot. That's a catch. That is a catch. And Chark does a freaking cartwheel, almost sticks the landing. Let's look at this again. What a throw by Goff. Put this right in the bread basket, and DJ Chark makes a hell of a grab. I don't know how he made that catch, but he did. Moving on now to the second half. Washington is up 14-10. Carson Wentz, though, on third down and seven is going to get sacked down by Aiden Hutchinson. His second sack of his career, but Levi Omuzurike is injured. Let's take a look at the sack, though. Great job by Aiden Hutchinson, his second of his young career. And hopefully he gets a lot more. Quick three and out for Washington. This is Detroit's chance to take the lead. They fake the handoff. Goff's got time, and he throws down field to Amon Ross St. Brown approaching midfield. Nice throw and catch first down. Detroit building momentum here. Jared Goff going to throw, and it's DJ Chark. And Chark going to see if he can make a man miss, and he can't do it. One man to beat. Could have had a touchdown there. Great job by Washington's defense. Nonetheless, though, it's DJ Chark on a big Pitch and catch from Goff on a slant. Nearly took that one to the house. First down and 10 at the 27. Another great drive from Detroit. They got to they gotta punch it in though. They have to score a touchdown here. Can't set up for field goals. No turnovers. It's third down and seven though. Goff's going to throw downfield. He has DeAndre Swift and he just shoots it short. Swift was open and Goff just just a little short on the pass he could have thrown it early right there swift if he was ready for it could have made the grab and for sure that's a first down but golf oh just a little short if he leads him forward that's definitely a touchdown swift had this man beat oh that hurts and again settling for three points instead of a touchdown keeps washington in the lead is 14 13 Carson Wentz and company back on the field. Pass short. Second down and one now. Hand off to Antonio Gibson up the gut. He'll fall forward for a first down. Ron Rivera trying to keep the morale up as Washington still holds the lead, but momentum quickly fading. Second down and one now. Carson Wentz going to throw past a wide open man. That's Logan Thomas, I believe. And his second catch in a row. That's a first down. In Lions territory now at the 38-yard line. It's second down and eight. Carson Wentz somehow running right, throws across his body, completes the pass. That shows off Wentz's arm strength. One thing about Carson, he's got a strong arm. And Wentz again rolling to his left, somehow completes this pass to McLaurin, who takes a shot in the process. But nonetheless, it's a first down to 10 at the 11-yard line. And the Commanders are driving. Wentz pass outside to Gibson down at the four. A great drive as the third quarter is approaching its finish. It's second down and three inside the five-yard line of the Detroit Lions. I formation set, two tight ends to the left side, and Gibson runs that side and a wide open lane up the gut for a touchdown. The Commanders... Seemingly take back momentum with that drive. A beautiful drive and a beautiful touchdown for Antonio Gibson. An eight point lead for Washington. It's 21 13. Is Detroit back on the field and Goff inaccurate with this pass? It looked like he was hit as he threw. Third down at six now. We don't want to see a three and out here for the Lions. Goff's going to pass outside and he missed him. 
He misses TJ Hawkinson, who was rolling, or rather running deep to the right side of the field, and he beat his man. He beat his man. Goff's got to put that on the money, man. Who knows? Hawkinson maybe breaks a tackle and keeps running for a lot more. That's a big miss by Jared Goff, and it's a three and out. Fourth quarter here now. It's first down and 10. Carson Wentz, quick pass on a slant to Terry McLaurin. Gets them into Detroit Lion territory, and it's a first down. Ron Rivera happy on the sidelines. The Lions are in danger of losing this game as Wentz complete again to McLaurin. Terry McLaurin is having a day on this Lions defense right now. Second down and one at the 35-yard line. They hand off to Gibson, and Gibson breaks a tackle and gets a first down. That could have been a lot worse. It's a great tackle by number 34. I believe that's Alex Anzalone on the tackle. If he wasn't there, that's probably a touchdown by Antonio Gibson. At the 29-yard line now, nine and a half minutes in the fourth quarter. Carson Wentz going to audible a little bit. I guess he likes something he sees here. But he's going to get sacked by Aiden Hutchinson and is picked up by Mike Hughes. And Hughes is going to go the other way. The 15-10-5 touchdown. Detroit on a scoop six. Are you kidding me? They send the corner blitz. And the last second audible by Carson Wentz left the offensive line unsettled. And they let two guys go, one being Aiden Hutchinson who forces it. And Mike Hughes recovers it for the touchdown. Dan Campbell is hype on the sidelines. What a play by this Detroit defense. Let's take another look at it. They let two guys go free. And that's, I don't know if that's on the line as much as it is on Carson Wentz for the late second audible and hiking it immediately after. The offensive line was not ready for that. And the Detroit Lions can capitalize. Now two-point conversion trying to, to tie up the score. And Goff just, wow, I don't know what that was. Goff just throws it to the linebacker. Thankfully, we tackle him. That's not a pick two. Sadly, though, the Lions cannot tie the game. And let's take a look at Terry McLaurin's stat line. Seven for 119. And, of course, the big touchdown to open the scoring for the Washington Commanders. It's a first down and 10 now. Washington still up. Even though they give up that big scoop six, they are still up by two. They still have the momentum. And Wentz is going to throw underneath to Gibson. And that's a great tackle in the open field by the Detroit Lions. It's third down and seven now. Lions are in position to force a three and out. Carson Wentz is going to run himself and then slide well short of the mark. And it's fourth down with seven minutes remaining. Lions fans are hype. Momentum potentially on their side. It's first and 10 as on the Lions. Jamal Williams gets a run to the right side. A nice pickup of seven yards. Less than seven minutes now in this game. Detroit trying to take the lead here. Hand off to Jamal Williams again. Jamal the left side. Big, big gain. Down to the 46 approaching midfield. First down, Detroit. A much different game from last week. The Lions have been in this game the entire time. Goff's going to fake a handoff and get sacked immediately by Kyler Fackrell. And that is a poor job by Panay Sewell, the second-year man. Just lets him go free. I don't know who he was blocking. I don't know who he was looking at. That's a terrible job and potentially a massive sack here. Pushing us behind the eight ball at second and 16. Goff is going to get hit again and sacked down again. No. And on top of the sack, it's a hold on Taylor Decker. Third down and 25. Goff going to try and throw downfield a little bit. Chark, I don't know how he made that catch. But it's fourth down and 10 now with five minutes remaining. I'm assuming the punt team is coming out here. Third down and two now for Washington. They did end up punting, and Washington now in Detroit territory. At the 38-yard line, Carson Wentz is going to run it himself and trucks Aiden Hutchinson in the process as he gets out of bounds across the right sideline for a first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Detroit in danger of really losing this game. Antonio Gibson, oh no, that's J.D. McKissick, his first carry of the day. 
upcoming with 3.15 in the fourth quarter, but he'll pick up a first down nonetheless. It's the two-minute warning now. Detroit down two. Handoff to Gibson. Up the gut. Nobody to contest him until the third level of the defense. And he'll get it at first and goal. I think at the three or the four. Scratch out the two-yard line. It's first and goal. Handoff to Gibson. He's stuffed down. Lions use their first timeout with about a minute 55 left on the clock. Second down and goal. Another handoff to Gibson. This time he's stuffed again. It's third and goal. And this is a big, big third down here. Lions without any timeouts. Carson Wentz has plenty of time. Wentz is going to run up the gut. A defender whiffs and Wentz gets into the end zone on his own. A rushing touchdown for Carson Wentz with a minute 40 left. And this is going to potentially put the game out of reach. I don't know what defender was doing there, but Washington going to kick a, a PAT and go up 28-19 with a minute 40 left. Detroit has no timeouts. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Detroit ended up going down the field and running out of time. Jared Goff actually did throw an interception, returned for a touchdown at the end of the game. Just a prayer, and somehow Washington returned it. I'm not going to fault Goff that much for that because it's the end of the game, you know, trying to make a play. Oh, uh, this is a heartbreaking loss. I thought we were going to win at so many points in this game. Jared Goff played a lot better. He wasn't great, but he played much better. DeAndre Swift, that fumble in the red zone really felt like it turned the tide for us. And he still only had 11 carries. I would have liked him to get a lot more than that. Terry McLaurin dominated us. DJ Chark was awesome. But again, just four catches. We have to get him the ball more. Same, same thing with Amara St. Brown. Um, moving on now to our division. The Green Bay Packers. I don't know what happened there. Aaron Rodgers with five interceptions another three from jordan love what in the world happened justin fields had a rushing touchdown aaron jones accounted for the only points for the packers but how about romeo dubs 10 catches for the rookie receiver what a what a great job by him although they got dismantled 35 to 7. the minnesota vikings stay undefeated in our division and our top at first place with a one point victory over the eagles who dismantled us Great job by the Vikings, and sadly, we have to play them week three. Adam Thielen had over 110 yards receiving. Justin Jefferson caught a touchdown. This is going to be a very difficult offense to stop. Not to mention Dalvin Cook seems to be their, their engine these first two games. But divisional games are always wonky, man. You never know what's going to happen in divisional games, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, we are last place in the division at 0-2 tied with the Packers but we get the Vikings next week and I can't wait for it man that's pretty much the video guys hope you guys like it hope you guys comment make sure you like the video subscribe for more um I'm really loving this franchise man I hope you guys are loving it too so that's the video appreciate the love appreciate the support Minnesota Vikings next week let's get it peace